My judgment that given, given all the circumstances involved, what Holy Cross has done in sports is singular and unmatched in American college sports history. So I would like nothing better than to have people looking up at this statue over the years to be reminded that for a small school in a laid-back New England town with a very limited recruiting budget, almost no television exposure, who graduates probably 92% of their student athletes. What Holy Cross has achieved is truly remarkable, as remarkable as the athletes that have represented her on the playing fields. Just imagine in basketball, both an NCAA and an NIT title. And that's when the NIT was the biggie. That's when we have Tommy Heinsohn with us, who was the hero of that uh, year. You know, this is what every college basketball player in those days, as now they do with the NCAA championship, aspired to, winning an NIT title. And along with 12 appearances in both of those tournaments, the Lady Hoops is led by Bill Gibbons Jr. have made great strides in a short period of time with nine NCAA appearances in the last 13 years. Football, with its memorable appearance in the 46 Orange Bowl, has placed eight men in the College Football Hall of Fame and has produced 37, 37 first-team All-Americans. Baseball boasts the only New England college team to ever win the College World Series in 1952, and ice hockey has come on very strong in the last few years with two NCAA visits and then beating Minnesota in that first round in 2006, an incredible achievement in college hockey history. I could go on because sports that release, receive less exposure have also distinguished themselves. Field hockey has won three Patriot League championships in the past 10 years. My friend Tom Sullivan has the rowing program in the top 20 in the nation. Women's lacrosse has been the two straight NCAA tourneys, and both the men and women's soccer teams have made NCAA appearances in this decade. So if anyone looking at my statue is reminded of this wonderful Holy Cross sports legacy, I will be a very happy camper on either side of the grass. <laughs>